Hi, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the step by step in creating your first post engagement campaign. The reason why you need to create a post engagement campaign because you want to have a social proof on your ad before using it for a convention campaign. This has been the main reason why most advertisers do use post engagement campaign before running a convention campaign. So in today's video, try to stay with me to the end and I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process in creating that both using a CBO and ABO. So before we start today's video, kindly go ahead and subscribe to my channel that if I release any other video, you may have access to it. So let's get started. So guys, first of all, try to log into your ad manager and when you log into your ad manager, it will bring you in within the ad manager. So you can probably see we have a green button over here, which is indicated create. So just go ahead and click on that. So when you click on that, that is going to bring you to an interface like this, which you can probably see we have campaign objective. So our main reason guy is to go for engagement. So we will quickly go ahead and click on engagement, which brings up, uh, which brings us to this particular portion, which we can see engagement type. So over here, we have post engagement and we have page likes, we have event response. So guys, in our situation, we don't like page engagement because we don't want anybody to like our page, either event response because we have no event set up. So our main focus is to let people to like, to share and comment on our ad or video. So we go ahead and pick post engagement and click on continue. So when you click on that, that is going to bring us into another interface within the ad manager Then we can start creating our ad. So you could probably see over here, guys, we need to give a name, which is the first step of the campaign name. So you can choose any name you want to give to your campaign, but I will go ahead and pick something like PPE, PPE slash pet clipper. So I'm naming my own PPE slash pet clipper because I want to run a PPE or a post engagement campaign for a pet product. So the next thing that I'll be doing guys is to scroll down over here and we can see we have campaign budget optimization. Earlier in the introduction, I told you I'll be walking you through CBO and ABO. So now when you talk of campaign budget optimization we are telling facebook even we want to run like three or five ad set we want to put the money into one and for you to control our money and probably spend our money on the best ad set that is why we need to use C, uh, cbo or campaign budget optimization so in this situation or for the first step we are going to use CBO which is campaign budget optimization so go ahead and turn it on so now when you turn it on kindly scroll down over here so we assume that we are going to run three ad set so in this situation each ad set will cost us five dollars so that is going to be something like fifteen dollars so go ahead and put in your budget So I put in 750 pesos because I'm currently in the Philippines and that is the currency they are using here. So the next thing that we need to do guys is to click on next. So when you click on next, that brings us to the second stage which is the asset level. So over here in the asset guys, we have to give an asset name. So in giving the name of the asset, what I mostly do is to give the name according to the interest I'm targeting. So as we are running a post engagement for a pet product, I will go ahead and name it Doug. This is the particular interest I will be targeting at the, in, uh, the asset level. So we will just scroll down over here and comes to what to the budget and schedule. And over here, we need to play around with the time. So supposedly you want your campaign to start immediately as we are creating, then you have to leave it as it is. But if you don't want it and you want it to start right after the 12 midnight in the, in the following day, then you have to go ahead and change it and then probably change this one to 12 a.m. Sorry. So now this campaign is going to start on the next day. So the next thing that we need to do is to click on show more option and that will give you an access to limit Facebook on how to spend your money even though he has every right. So in this situation, we are going to tell Facebook, hey, try to spend at least $4 on each asset and you can spend the rest on the best performing ad. So we will go ahead and put in $4. 
so in this situation as we are finished over there guys we will scroll down over here and the next thing that we need to do is to come to audience and over here we click on edit so when i click on edit you have to see the location i am here in the philippines so it's already chosen likewise i believe you have already chosen your location so the next thing that we need to do is to move on to the age and then we have to edit the age so over here in the age guys the product you are selling is it good for 18 to 65 or something like 20 to 65 so just go ahead and choose the age rate for your product but for the sake of today's tutorial and we are creating a post engagement campaign i'm going to leave it at 18 to 65. so the next thing that i'll be doing is to come to the agenda and i'll be editing that so guys the product that you are really selling is this something which is good for men or a women and is this something which cut across or is good for both men and women so when you look at the product we are selling now guys it is something which is good for both men and women so we are going to leave it at all so the next thing that we'll be doing is to click on show more and that gives us an access to pick our interest. So over here we can probably see we have detailed targeting. This is where we are going to pick our particular interest. So I will go ahead and type in dog. So guys we now have our interest selected. So the next thing that we can do over here, when you look down here, we have a screwed and narrow audience. So when you check the audience size, guys, we probably have like 30 million to 36 million. So maybe this might be something more huge for you. So what do you need to do that you want to reduce it? So the next thing that you can do is to click on narrow audience. So when you click on narrow audience, you can also narrow to a similar interest or you can choose something like a demographic as you really want. But I will go ahead and choose engage shoppers so now after we choose engage shoppers guys you could probably see that our audience size has been reduced to 12 to 14 million so the next thing that we need to do guys is to scroll down over here and we comes to the placement level so here in the placement level, we can leave it at automatic placement, which allows Facebook to put our ads in different platforms. But in certain situations, I mostly do manual placement. The reason why I do manual placement is that I really want to tell Facebook, hey, kindly put my ad, especially on Facebook feed, not on Instagram or uh, audience network so i'll just go ahead and uncheck that but if you think you really like to put your eyes on instagram go ahead and check that so the next thing that i'll be doing is to scroll down and i will click on this that bring us to what it bring us to the art level which is the last stage of our creation so now we have to go ahead and give a name to the art so over here i will leave it for you to pick any art that you really want so the next thing that we need to do is to pick a name our page and after we pick our page we can come to what to the instagram level but don't forget that i have already unchecked my instagram so i'm not going to put in any instagram here but you can go ahead and do that if you really like so now that we are finished we come to the next stage which is the ad setup over here we can probably see it has already selected use existing post guys using existing post means we assume that you have already created your ad within the page or your post within the page so if you have already done that then you can go ahead and select that particular place by scrolling down and say select a post so when you click on that you could probably say i've created a series of posts or art in within the page so i will go ahead and pick any one i want so now that we have it selected guys the next thing that we need to do is to just scroll down a little bit then we can just choose our call to action so when you look over here guys you can just add a call to action to your ad so just go ahead and pick that so over here you could see this particular pop up this is learn more is this something you want to bring people to your landing page or is this something you want people to message you so if you want people to you want to bring people to your landing page go ahead and put in your url but if you don't want people to come to your landing page and you just want to chat with them go ahead and pick on message so now we have our ad updated 
so in the same way when you pick the shop now that is the same way it's going to be updated so the next thing that we need to do is to come to the message template over here you have the gas to what to just play around to change it or you can use existing template if you already have so the next thing that we need to do is to make sure that we have selected your website event and make sure your pixel is already set up so the next thing guys we need to do is to click on publish but at this point i'm not going to click on publish don't forget i told you i'm going to walk you through both the cbo and abo so the next thing guys i'll be doing is to just go over here to the campaign so when i comes to the campaign i will just scroll down over here and turn this one off so when I turn it off, the next thing that I'll be doing is to click on next. So when I click on next, it will bring me back to the asset level. That will allow me to pick a particular daily budget for my campaign. So probably we are going to pay it $5, which is $250 per So now we have our budget set within the asset level, which we are the one to control our own money. You do nothing anymore and just click on next. So now that we click on next, guys, we have every right to start publishing our campaign. So just go ahead and do that. But there is one thing more I have to remind you in doing is adding what a test to your campaign. So when you scroll down over here, guys, this really gives us a little bit upper hand, but we cannot see that because this particular test needed to be added on before creating your post. So now, in case you don't really want to use post uh, existing post you can go ahead guys and use this particular one which allows you to create the art from the beginning so in this particular situation we have to choose a particular art whether video or image so which one do you have as your creative so i will go ahead and pick this one like an image and maybe i will just use that so permit me to use any of this So we have it imported here. The next thing that we need to do, guys, is to play around here and put our primary test. So just go ahead and draft a good primary test that will match your creative and also that will boost your convention. So I will quickly just make something simple. So I have already put in my test or my primary test. As zooming, that is what I really want. So the next thing that I will do is to just scroll down, guys, and also pick a call to action. So in this call to action is the same thing I taught you just in a few moments ago that if you want to use shop now or message, just go ahead and use anyone. So after you have already picked a call to action, the next thing that you need to do finally guys is to click. So then we have to click on publish. So let's wait for a few minutes for everything to that. Oh, so it flesh itself. Okay, good. I think we can go ahead and do that. So let's click on publish. So this time I'm expecting it to move more to move more faster. Good. We are good to go. So let's go back to our campaign and check. So now we could probably see that it's already in schedule. So this is how after you finish creating your art is going to look like. So thank you for staying with me to the end of today's video. And if you truly like uh, learn something out of it, kindly go and leave a comment. Or if there is something you really don't understand and you want me to reply, you just leave a comment and I will do that. Thank you for staying with me.